Hey, my friend, this is a five minute quickie podcast and it lasts for over five minutes, but not much longer than that. And it's just something to think about, about negative beliefs, the beliefs that don't support us and how we can begin to shake them off with just, uh, well, just by asking a simple question. Okay, have a listen after this. Hey, welcome to the Personal Development Unplugged podcast with me, Paul Clough. And this is an FMQ, a five-minute quickie podcast, which never lasts five minutes. It always goes a little bit longer. But it's a chance for you and I just to muse, to think of a subject, to talk about it for a few minutes, and then spend time thinking, seeing how it would change our life if we maybe developed it a little deeper. And maybe sometimes these five-minute quickies will go into a longer podcast where we can dive deeper and produce processes, hypnosis processes, NLP processes. Don't worry about the names. They're just processes for making our life and your life absolutely better. Getting rid of anxiety, fear, all those other hang-ups and issues that we have and have the life we deserve and make dreams come into reality quicker, bigger, better than you could ever dream of. But they're the longer podcasts. And this is a five minute quickie where we break down the complicated into simple because in simplicity, there's genius. And that's what we do here. So if you want to just think for a little while, see what happens, see what resonates inside you. And when it does, you go change the world. This is Personal Development Unplugged with Paul Clough. In simplicity, there is genius. In simplicity, there is genius. Hey you, how you doing today? This is a five minute quickie. Five minute quickie where we're going to just think about something to muse about, I guess. If you can think about something to muse, that's what we're going to muse about. And it's all about negative beliefs because we all have negative beliefs. And yes, that's a generalization and it's a belief of mine. And I know we all do that because I'm true. It's true. I'm right. Somewhere along the line, you've got a negative belief and sometimes you become aware of them. You know, you get that feeling. And on that feeling, you start to think about yourself. A lot of them generalize themselves into things like, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. Can't do this. Oh, I'm stupid. They're ones which just tend to spring up quite a lot in when I'm working with people. And I thought to myself, well, what can I, what can I do today just to give you something to muse about when you realize you have one of these negative beliefs? And I know they're trying to do something for you. Or when you first created and chose to have that belief, it was trying to do something for you to protect you and and keep you safe in some way, shape, or form. And probably now, well, I know now, not probably. I know I'm right again. If you're here listening to me now, you know now that it's out of date. It's no longer protecting you. It's probably causing more conflict in you than it's doing to protect you. And it makes you feel shit sometimes, doesn't it? And I wanted just to give you this thing, this little thing or thought that I had is to ask yourself a question. And as you know, the way I like to do it, I have a puzzle book and my puzzle book is a weirdly named book, puzzle book. It's where I puzzle things out, where I think, because that's how I think. And we will talk about thinking another day because it's really interesting to listen to Jordan Peterson talking about thinking and what it is. But anyway, that's on the side. I have my puzzle book, that's where I think. And I'd write down about my emotions, I'd write down the belief that's attached to them. And sometimes they're quite weird because they go, wow, where did that come from? And to be honest, sometimes consciously, I don't care. Unconsciously, I want my unconscious mind to learn, learn from that first time and then just let it go. But I can not challenge my unconscious mind, but get my unconscious mind to think by itself by saying to, to it, and thinking. Is this belief true? How can it be true? Or, we talked about what if. 
What if it isn't true? Or how can it be true? Give me the data. And really, you know, let's get scientific on this. You know, if you are thinking you're not worthy, you're not good enough, where's the data that supports that? Where's the data that supports that it's not true? The data when you have been good enough. The data when, you know, the examples, that's, that's data. The examples in your life, the memories that you have, where you've been totally good enough. You didn't think about it, and you, you probably didn't even realize it until now. And you can think back over your life and just go, yeah, there was that man. I was good then. And it didn't matter when. It could be what, whatever age. It could be yesterday, or it could be, you know, really early on. And anything in between. Times when you have literally been good enough, and it only had to be for, you know, a few moments. Maybe when you helped somebody, you were good enough. In fact, you were better than good enough. When you did something and you succeeded. Maybe you just took time out for yourself. That's being good enough. Finding those, and we call them counterexamples. And the question is, well, what if it isn't true, this belief? And if it isn't true, let me find examples of where it isn't true. Because I know they're not true. It's not 100%, but these things generalize as if they are 100%. And when we, so I say that again, and when we find these counterexamples, these times in your life when you've been totally good enough, when you haven't been stupid, you've been pretty good. You've exceeded your, you know, that expectation of not being good enough, being stupid. <laughs> and then you look at it and go, that, you know, that's stupid, thinking I'm stupid. <laughs> that's not good enough thinking I'm not good enough because I'm good enough. And the thing is, you know, whatever you are, you're more than that. Whatever you think you are, you're more than that. Always. Striving to be our best. So I just wanted you to... to I'll say that again. Jesus. I just wanted you to muse. Take some time out in the day. Maybe just after you press stop on this. Not yet. And just think. Do I have any negative beliefs? And when I do, or if I can remember them, what if they're not true? Because they're not. And what are the examples in my life that actually prove they're not true? That's it. Something to think about on this lovely day. Because it is a lovely day. Whatever day it is, it's a lovely day because we're above ground. We are breathing. And we're going to strive to be our best. So... That's it. That's a, my five minute quickie. I'm going to go deeper on this on a longer podcast, I'm sure. But I just wanted you and probably more, not more importantly, but probably more directly me. Because this is all about, not all about me, but sharing my thoughts. Anyway, have more fun than you can really stand. And then have a bit more. Go spread. Go spread the love. Bye bye now. Time to fly. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.